Hearing Protection Device Requirements and Considerations Per DA PAM 40-501, you are required to wear hearing protection devices when in the presence of four types of noise hazards, steady state, impulse, ultrasonic, and blast overpressure. For the purposes of simplicity, we will discuss steady state and impulse or impact noise. Impulse or impact noise is defined as high level, short duration noise, like rifle shots or an explosion. Steady state noise is defined as continuous, periodic, or randomly variable sounds that last for long periods of time, like helicopter or vehicle noises. The weapons and machinery discussed are examples. To be sure you are using the appropriate type of hearing protection, consult your installation hearing program manager or unit hearing program officer. Those exposed to impulse noise at or above 140 decibels or steady state noise at or above 85 decibels must use hearing protection devices. Single or double hearing protection is required depending on the type and duration of noise exposure. Single hearing protection is defined as wearing only one form of hearing protection at a time, for example, ear plugs or noise muffs. Double hearing protection is defined as wearing two forms of hearing protection at the same time, for example, wearing noise muffs on top of ear plugs. For scenario-specific considerations, single hearing protection is appropriate when firing an M4, M16, or M9, when riding in a Humvee, or when exposed to noise from a 60 millimeter mortar. Double hearing protection is required when operating or standing in the vicinity of a howitzer. Riding in or standing near a Bradley vehicle or Abrams tank, or when riding in or standing near some helicopters, depending on duration, like a Chinook or Black Hawk. Appropriate and consistent usage of hearing protection can protect the user against the effects of loud noise and noise induced hearing loss. Hearing protection is especially important in military environments where the preservation of adequate hearing ability is critical. Reduced hearing ability caused by exposure to hazardous noise without wearing appropriate hearing protection can lead to mission degradation and impaired sensory awareness. Bottom line, for soldiers, impaired hearing can significantly reduce mission effectiveness and decrease survivability and lethality. It is important to work with your installation hearing program manager and unit hearing program officer to ensure you are using the appropriate hearing protection in the appropriate environments.